The U.S. screens potential refugees, but not everyone thinks it's enough. It's called extreme vetting. Donald Trump thinks we should do more. But how does the current vetting process actually work? At minimum, it's an 18-month process. It begins with a person applying for refugee status with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. This application goes to a federal resettlement support center, where it's vetted by multiple agencies. The National Counterterrorism Center, the FBI's Terrorist Screening Center, the State Department, the Department of Defense, and the Department of Homeland Security. Then members of DHS's Refugee Corps interview the asylum seeker. Meanwhile, the refugees' fingerprints, iris scans, and biographical info are run through federal terrorism and criminal databases to check for any potential security risks. Clearing these hurdles, refugees then undergo medical screenings, meet with potential sponsor agencies, take cultural orientation classes, and go through another final security clearance. For Syrian refugees, there's an additional enhanced review process. Trump's extreme vetting would require refugees to pass an American values test, ensuring they respect the Constitution, gender equality, gay rights, and more, and could halt immigration from countries where vetting is impossible. Does vetting pass your test, or should we do more? Tell your reps.